Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if you are present in the stream or else we would wait for a minute to start. So let me just turn on a timer of one minute and the countdown of one minute is okay and we would start just after one minute. Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if you are present? Let me just okay fair enough so we we would just wait because no one has responded till now if you are in the chat just respond okay yeah hi vignesh how are you so let me just lower down the quality so that it won't hinder the quality of my live stream okay so the stream would just start when this timer is over. Very good afternoon. Okay, fair enough. So let's start now. Today we would be doing yesterday's problem of the day that is known as Zor game. And this is a mathematical problem, okay, involvement of gates, Zor gate. And the problem level of this is medium but if you are good with constructive problems then it would be easy for you and this has a quite good success percentage that is 59 percent now let us read and understand the problem statement we are given a positive number k so k's num k's value would range from inf infinity fair enough and we need to find a minimum value of positive integer. So n that we need to have should be the positive. Okay. So it should be as minimum as possible. Such that the ZOR of n and n plus 1. ZOR of n and n plus 1 should be equal to k. If no such n exists, then we need to print minus 1. That is, if no solution is existing, then we need to present till minus 1. So basically, let, let us sum up what we are told. So, a number k diya jayega, jo positive hoga. Iska matlab greater than 0 hoga. And we need to find the minimum, sabse chota n nikalna hai, jiska zor n, zor n plus 1 is equal to the value that we are, jo bil raha value. Agar asa solution na rahe, to we need to print minus 1. Fair enough. So, let us first see this. Okay. So, we are told that n zor n plus 1 is equal to the value k. Now, let us first understand what is the truth table of zor. To understand the truth table of zor is absolutely very easy. Just remember same 0 different 1. Now, how to remember this? Okay. To remember this, you should attach with a relatable real life example. The relatable real life example that I use is if the person asking for help is of the same gender, then the efforts produced by us is zero. But if it is of different gender, the effort would be full. Okay, just just a relation of it. Don't nothing serious. Now, as the thing said, so if it is one 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 or one, the value would be zero. If it is 0, zor 0, the value would be 0. If it is 1, zor 0, that is different, so value would be 1. If it is 0, zor 1, the value would be equal to 1 itself. Okay, fair enough. Is this a problem from bit manipulation? Yes. Okay, fair enough. This is how it was done. Now let us see. So we are told that the value of k is equal to 3. So we need to have this k as 3 and the n that we are claiming here is 1. So 1 zor 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 that is 2. So 1 zor 2 is equal to 3. Binary representation of 1 is 1, okay, 1 is 1 and binary representation of 2 is 1, 0. Now let the these all values are 0 only so let us fill a 0 so that we can do the zor part now the thing is that 1 zor 0 different 1 different 1 so 
this is the binary representation of 3 okay fair enough now for the value 6 we don't have any answer so i don't think there is much explanation to be needed okay enough fair enough whenever we talk about this okay whenever we are told that we need to solve a constructive way to solve a problem see the predefined ways first thing what you need to do is when you encounter this problem is see all the properties okay see all the properties okay properties of zor this is the first thing that you need to do why because this is this is a zor problem this is a bit problem so it might be related to some property of zor so you can just see all the properties of zor see that if any of the property of zor is useful to us or not but in this scenario it won't be useful okay example of a example of this is 0 zor a okay 0 zor a is equal to a itself okay fair enough okay now the next thing what you need to do is you need to keep if you are on a cp platform then you need to keep a record of oies but i won't be digging deep into that if you want just text me on linkedin i would explain you but for this we don't need to go in that direction what is that i would tell you that is just an encyclopedia where if you just uh, input the first 10 or 5 pattern it would tell you how to get the next one or it would give you the formula okay but we won't be going in that direction next thing what you need to do is start from small start from small input start from small input okay and what you need to do is you need to always portray this problem as bind solve it using binary representation so whenever bit ka problem aaya matlab binary representation to solve karna okay so now let us start doing that okay so for one the binary representation is 0 1 for two the binary representation is 1 0 so the zor of both is 1 1 that is 3 so 1 zor 2 is equals to 3 now let us do 2 and 3 2 ho gaya 1 0 3 ho gaya 1 1 okay different 1 same 0 and this one is a binary representation of 1 itself now let us go to 3 and 4 if we go to 3 and 4 this would be 1 1 and this would be like this okay Sorry. okay fair enough 3 and 4 so different 1 different 1 different 1 okay so this is basically 7 how it is 7 2 to the power 0 that is 1 so 1 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 okay and plus 4 itself okay now 4 and 5 4 is 1 0 0 and 5 would be nothing but 1 0 1 that is we would add this one itself okay now different 1 same 0 different same 0 and then the value is 1 itself then we would go just do it for 5 to 6 terms okay so 5 and 6 so 5 is how much tell me 5 is how much 5 is nothing but 4 plus 1 so 1 0 1 and 6 would be how much that is 5 plus 1 so this one would get removed and here it would be 1 so 1 1 0 and the zor is different 1 different 1 same 0 okay and this is the binary representation of 3 fair enough now can we see any pattern in this or not okay so let me say tell you a pattern the first pattern that can be encountered very easily is that many a times one is occurring one is occurring many number of times one one okay three also is occurring two times but when you would do it for more okay then you would see that one is occurring many number of times okay if you just do six and seven if you just do six and seven let me just do six and seven also then you would try to get the difference between it so what was the binary representation of six 110 1, 1, 1, 0 and 7 would be just added to 1 and 0 1 0 1 is equals to 1 and this would be 0 this is the binary representation of 1 so we can see that for 2 for 2 we are getting 1 
for 4 and 5 we are getting 1 for the value of n as 6 we are getting 1 so when n is even the value would be 1 okay value will be equal to 1 okay so if k is equals to 1 suppose this is the k then we can have 6 7 then we can have 4 5 then we can have 2 3 but we need to tell the minimum the minimum value so if we talk about the minimum value then we would say the first point where we got this so we got at this point so we can write in our solution as if n is even then if n sorry if k is even okay if um, yeah if k is equals to 1 then n n would be 2 if k is equal to 1 then the value would be 2 okay so return 2 this is the first one first observation now let us see the second observation now we are getting 3 okay we are getting 7 and then we are again getting 3 so for this 3 for this 3 we have two values for this 3 we have two values the first value is 1 and 2 the second value is 5 and 6 so for 3 we have 5 as n and 1 as n and we want the minimum so we would select this one so for 3 the value is 1 itself when 1 is odd with 2 the value is equal to 3 now tell me if you are able to see any pattern kind of thing or not when k is equal to 1 the answer would definitely be true when k is when k is equals to 3 the answer would be the answer would be 1 so now just see the difference okay so k is 1 that thing when k is 7 the value is 3 okay and again we got a different value okay so if you just do 7 and 8 okay if you just do 7 and 8 7 would be 1 1 1 and 8 would be 1 0 0 0 for this the value would be 1 1 1 okay and this would be again 1 that is okay just let me uh, 0 1 2 and 3 okay fair enough and 7 would be how much 7 would be 1 1 1 so if it is 0 then it would be 1 else these all would be also 1 okay fair enough 0 1 2 3 3 plus and this one would be 7 this one would be 10. okay fair enough so if you just talk about 7 then the most lowest value that we are getting is 3 okay so if k is equals to 7 then the value is 3 and if you keep going further if you keep going further you would see that when k k k and k plus 1 when k and k plus the answer is equals to answer divide there is a pattern bro yeah there see to this problem uh, there are many uh, there are many ways to solve it to be honest okay i'm just telling you my way okay so now so let us see when k and k plus 1 so 3 and 4 so for 3 the value would be 2 plus 1 so for this it would be 1 1 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 1 and then 4 would be what 1 0 0 0 1 2 so let us see the and value of it the and of it would be 0 0 0 okay fair enough then we have 7 so for 7 we would have 1 1 1 and for 8 we would have 0 0 0 and this one would be 0 so the and would be 0 so we can say that when k and k plus 1 is equals to 0 then the answer would be what see for 3 the value is 1 for 7 the value is 3 so we can see that 3 divided by 2 is equals to 1 by 5 but it is lowered down the floor value of it or the integer representation of it would be 1 so let us again do 7 see 7 divided by 2 would be 3.5 
the floor value or the integer value would be 3. Okay, that is why we can say that when k and k plus 1 is equals to 0, then we would just say k divided by 2. And when k is equals to 1, we would say that the answer is 2. Else, in every other case, we would say that the answer is not possible. So, when k is equals to 1, we would return 2. When k and k plus 1 equals to 0, we would return k by 2. Else, if e, these all conditions don't perform, then we would say that the answer is minus 1. That is, no solution exists to this. Now, I would be having a countdown of just 2 minutes to sum up the things, to read the comments and to wait for your query. Then I would just turn off this session. Hi Prashant, how are you? Vignesh, sir, how to prepare CP? So, CP is the most easiest way to prepare. Why? Because practice some, do some random problems, give a contest, the question which you are not able to solve. So, okay, first see that there, there might be two cases. Either you knew that, uh, either you knew that topic. So, if you knew that topic, that means you are weak on that topic. If you are weak on that topic, you need to work on that topic. If you don't know the topic, then you need to learn the topic. Fair enough. That's very simple. Your way of practice would only tell you the roadmap to it. Is this from a bit manipulation? Yeah, okay. Increment karoge. Kab tak sir, kab tak We would, I did um, to a large extent, but I can't do it in the live stream because people would get bored. Okay. Fair enough. So, let's talk about the time complexity of this solution too. So, basically, we are not storing anything. We are just using variables, okay, and none of the extra variables. So, big O of 1, that is constant. So, now talking about the time complexity. See, bit manipulation takes constant time. And checking, doing if or something, it also takes constant time. So, if and then returning also take constant time. That is why the time and the space complexity both are constant to this problem and it can't be narrowed further. Okay. Now tell me if things are clear to you or not. So can you please like the video if you are till the end and if you found this very uh, valuable just like the video okay so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day keep coding